uh, using nocodeapi.com first of all click on make google sheets api connect your google account with no code api allow no code api to access your google sheets data now give your endpoint a name and give your sheet id you are going to get your sheet id from your uh, sheet which you are going to manage it's in the url bar so copy it it's the place between the forward slash and forward slash added so once you have pasted it click create okay now our endpoint is ready to make sure that our endpoint is working okay we are going to first of all try the first method in swagger playground it is integrated in no code api we are going to write the first tab id that is sheet one and execute so it is going to give us all the data which is there but if we want to fetch a certain row for example row number four we are going to execute it again and we are going to get only that particular data so if you want to update your sheets with new rows you have to add your date tab id here and here we are going to give 2d array and to this 2d array is going to look uh, not in key value pairs but it has to be without key value pairs so we are going to remove the key part from each array and after that we are going to click execute so for example we are going to exit send or we are going to post two new rows to our sheet and once we execute it it is going to say successfully inserted so it has been successfully inserted here so the post method is working fine we are going to update an existing row in our google sheet so for example we have duplicated the last row and we want to change its and uh, its date name url for that we are going to give it the tab id that is sheet one and in the body part we are going to give it uh, the same format date but here we need to give it a row id as well that is 31 the date we want to change it to 2 fab we want to say say it's fast and furious and we want to say that the fast api and we are going to update the description and then we are going to click execute so once it happens it is going to give us updated successfully message and the last row has been changed to fast and furious api but we want to uh, we want to delete the row which we duplicated we also have the option for that we are going to write sheet one and in row id we are going to write the sheet row so for example we want to delete this third and january post it is located at 30th uh, row id we are going to click execute and it is going to delete this row we also have another method method through which we can create a new separate sheet so for that we are going to give my new sheet name and execute and it is going to create a new sheet and for that you have your own idea that's it if you have any questions you can contact us at uh, our support it is listed here bye bye